In the case of Shiba Anus, there is a significant issue. Is it even remotely possible that the developers simply ran away with the money? And where is that massive half a million dollars that we labored so hard to earn? There are probably other people who are going through some kind of panic because of this. In order to get a better understanding of the chaos, I would like for you to remain by my side. Prepare yourselves for the drama that has been built up around the Shiba Inu is about to reach new heights that will keep you captivated. When Withdrawal Shibarium was first introduced, it was a significant step forward for the environment. To be more specific, the Bone Token, which is the gas fee token that is assigned to the Shibarium network, has become a vital component of the functions that the platform offers. It was guaranteed by the development team that they would burn 70 percent of the petrol fees that Shiba Inu generated in order to advance tokenomics in general. Despite this, the manual functioning of the burning process now presents a number of challenges that need to be addressed. The organization has a system in place that allows for the exchange of bone tokens for Shiba Inus, and then the tokens are destroyed after the transaction is complete. Despite the fact that it was initially utilized, the hand burning approach has a number of drawbacks that have to be taken into consideration. First and foremost, it requires a significant amount of effort and careful attention from the team responsible for development. As a result, they are subjected to increased pressure, which in turn increases the likelihood of human error. Furthermore, the manual process is less effective than the automated methods that are implemented. The entire process of tokenomics is slowed down because of the amount of time required to generate the petrol cost, convert it to Shiba Inu, and finally burn it. There is a possibility that this delay will have a detrimental impact on the team's ability to meet its duties on schedule, which may ultimately irritate the community. Additionally, manual burning might be impacted by elements like as market fluctuations and unpredictability. When attempting to physically burn large quantities, part of Shiba Anus in a market that is volatile, there are risks involved. These risks are especially significant when taking into consideration factors such as price volatility and market liquidity. Furthermore, manual burning procedures have challenges when it comes to accountability and transparency responsibilities. There is the potential for token burning to be done out in a manner that is both more open and secure through the utilization of automated mechanisms that guarantee respect to the initial community promises. On the other hand, manual burns have the potential to raise questions about the truthfulness and precision of the burning procedure. It appears that the team responsible for the creation of Shiba Inus is aware of this, which is why they have committed to switching to a burning system that is automatic. There is only one day remaining before the day of January 2024 on which this change was scheduled to take place, which was predetermined. A significant problem has come to light. Despite the fact that it has previously been established, physical labor is still needed to perform burns presently. A little over a month ago, it was disclosed that the amount of bone tokens produced by petrol surcharges had exceeded $1.3 million overall. According to the team's own admission, Approximately $900,000 worth of Shiba Inus should have been destroyed in the explosion. Sadly, the recent fall of the market has created a barrier that prevents this treatment from being carried out. Each and every week during the month of December, about $90,000 worth of Shiba Inus were torched by hand by the squad. The question that you might be asking is, why not burn more? Since the method called for the sale of bone tokens, the team wanted to avoid anything that could cause the price to drop, thus they avoided doing anything that could cause the price to drop. This is how it operates in practice. The Shiba Inu development team is the one that acquires the bone tokens that are generated by the petrol fees that are collected by the Sherbarium network. The strategy that is more methodical is now being utilized by the development team for Shiba Inus animals. In order to acquire Shiba Inus, they initially start by selling bone tokens. The crucial act of burning tokens is not carried out until after this step has been completed. Having said that, let's move on to the financial aspects. In the event that an item is put up for sale in any market, particularly one that has a moderate level of liquidity, the price of the item will typically experience a downward swing. This is a straightforward example of supply and demand. In most cases, the price of a commodity will decrease when there is an excessive supply of that commodity. In this particular scenario, the sale of a substantial quantity of bone tokens can result in a decrease in price. And this is something that they want to avoid happening. The most essential point to keep in mind is that they were concerned about more than just Shiba Inus. The project involving the bone token is yet another one of their continuing endeavors that requires attention. By sacrificing one for the sake of the other, they are not following the strategy that they have devised. On the other hand, throwing a 
Spectacular party for Shiba Enos, while simultaneously destroying the dance floor for bone tokens is not a good trade-off. The result was that they took careful measures in the hopes of finding a middle position between satisfying Shiba Inu enthusiasts and avoiding any bad consequences on the bone token effort. In the same way that handling spinning plates takes strategic thought and action. Maintaining equilibrium demands deliberate efforts. Despite the fact that economics can be difficult to understand, the team is making use of it to their advantage in order to guarantee that both the Shiba Inu and the bone tokens will be successful without compromising the success of the other. In any case, the initial plan was to finish, burning everything by the end of January, and then move to an automated burning system after having completed the burning process. On the other hand, with only one week left in the month of January, there are still Shiba Anus that have not been claimed, and their value exceeds half a million dollars. Lucy, the marketing specialist for Shiba Inus, claims that the current status of the market has put an end to hand burns. This is due to the fact that Shiba Inus do not burn on red days. In addition, the market is still in the throes of a catastrophe, despite the fact that the first cryptocurrency exchange traded fund ETF for Bitcoin was approved. Currently, the crew is confronted with a difficult situation. They would like to make the change over to automated burning, but they are unable to proceed until they have taken care of the Shiba Inus accounts that are still outstanding, which are worth a total of $500,000 in total. In other words, it is similar to having the desire to purchase a luxurious new automobile, but being aware that you have issues with the one you now own that need to be corrected first. This is the question that is worth a million dollars, or a half a million dollars, depending on how it is framed in this particular circumstance. Should the team make the decision to convert to automated burning tomorrow, the day of the deadline, what will happen to the $500,000 that has been provided? Does this mean that the developers of Shiba Inu simply stole the money that the community had worked so hard to earn? Please give it a moment. For the time being, let's refrain from getting into a state of panic. The developers have demonstrated a dedication to the Shiba Inu project, despite the fact that it is easy to draw gemmets without giving things sufficient thought on their own. If they had intended to make a spectacular departure with the full $1.3 million that they had earned from the price of petrol, there was no need for them to burn. Therefore, while the outcome of the conclusions is yet unknown, the Shiba Inu staff has shown that they are committed to the cause and the fact that they have stolen money from the community does not exactly add together. The passage of time will tell this story more accurately than anyone else, revealing whether or not this is a speed bump or a diversion on the path that Shiba Inu is traveling. Nevertheless, here we are, with the Shiba Inu team attempting to balance the pressures of community responsibilities, volatile market conditions, and the desire for a burning process that is more seamless. The enthusiastic community had high expectations, but when the team encountered challenges with their manual burning technique in December, they were unable to fulfill those expectations. That was a letdown for them. Currently, the market is experiencing challenges, and the Shiba Inu team is in a challenging situation as a result of these difficulties. The feeling of dread is palpable. At this point, what kind of reaction will the community have? As a result of the ongoing crisis in the market, the team is in a precarious scenario in which it is becoming increasingly difficult for them to fulfill their word. It is comparable to attempting to maintain equilibrium on a precarious wire above an unfathomable chasm. Due to the fact that previous delays have established a precedent and the fact that the present market conditions are making issues more problematic, the Shiba Inu team is exercising caution. Due to the fact that the community has high expectations, any challenges you encounter in maintaining your promise throughout these test periods may result in sentiments of discontent or even disappointment being experienced. This is certainly a stance that causes anxiety. Within the context of this market slump, the team's ability